to the Dr. Rita H. Inez Jr. Senior High School Chapter of the National Honor Society's 10th Annual Induction Ceremony. In light of the current pandemic, the National Honor Society has taken an alternate approach to our induction ceremony this year. This will be the first year in which the ceremony will be conducted remotely and shared as a video. First of all, we would like to thank everyone for joining us as spectators of this momentous occasion. As viewers, we are gathered here to formally recognize the students who have been selected by the faculty of our school, who have successfully completed the candidacy process and are being inducted as the new members of our NHS chapter. We hope that this video will also serve to remind everyone of the standards of excellence that we are charged with maintaining as members of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious student recognition program. We would like to recognize and acknowledge the continuing contributions of the following stakeholders who have in one way or another contributed to the success of our organization. The NHS Faculty Council, Mrs. Darlene Barcinas, Ms. Crystal Calvo, Ms. Bernie Fujihira, and Ms. Chanel Magnolia, Mrs. Charlene Magnolia, Ms. Nadia Magnolia, Ms. Vene Magnolia, Ms. Bernice Maritita, Ms. Elvira Meskin, Ms. Mona Odoran, Ms. Desiree Pendergrass, the advisors of the organization, Ms. Sabrina Calvo, and Ms. Angeli Guillen, the RHI faculty and staff. Last and most especially, the families of our current members and new inductees of the National Honor Society. At this time, I would like to introduce the current members of the National Honor Society, the NHS officers, NHS President Vera Atalik, NHS Vice President Sabina Teskin, NHS Secretary Alcona Depalog, NHS Treasurer Bea Bermeo, NHS Historian Diana Fernandez, NHS Members Amron Joe Barcinas, Sivon Calvo, and Zeta Magnonia. NHS Honorary Members Masum Dali, Angela Guiang, Mary Ruth Lauren, Mayana Regis, and Logan Tecno. And now for the introduction of our celebrants of our ceremony. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Half a day, my name is Caitlin Amber Aibo Goa. I am the daughter of Nermita Aipaini and Rosenda Bibo Goa. I am 16 years old and currently in the 10th grade. I am a member of the Asian Invasion Club and is also a Natural Helper member. In my spare time, I enjoy reading books, watching shows, playing instruments, and singing. My future aspirations is to graduate high school with flying colors and enter a good college. Besides so, I aspire to become successful one day and make my parents proud. Erica Jong once said, I have not ceased being fearful, but I've ceased to let fear control me. Half a day. My name is Eliza Camacho. I am the daughter of Mila and Isagani Camacho. I am 16 years old and currently in the 10th grade. I am a member of the RHI Student Council, Asian Invasion, and 4-H. In my spare time, I enjoy watching and playing the piano. My future aspirations is to one day get into a good college so that I may be successful later in life. As Martin Luther King once said, the time is always right to do what is right. Half a day. My name is James Ralph Nuki Yamata and I am the son of Romel and Nova Yamata. I am 16 years old and currently in the 10th grade. In my spare time, I enjoy playing basketball and playing guitar, and my future aspiration is to become a pilot. Nelson Mandela once said, it always seems impossible until it's done. Half a day, my name is Kate Manglania, and I am the daughter of Gabriel and Noemi Manglania. I am 15 years old and currently in 10th grade. I am a member of the 4-H and Varsity Club. In my spare time, I enjoy watching, reading, and hanging out with friends. My future aspirations is to enlist in the U.S. Air Force and attend college. Mahatma Gandhi once said, Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. Half a day, my name is Amber Nicole Atalik Manjola. I am the daughter of Harry and Michelle Manjola. I am 15 years old and currently in the 10th grade. In my spare time, I like to draw, cook, and I enjoy baking desserts. My future aspirations is to go to college straight after high school and get my degree in whatever I decide to major in. 
D.H. Wu Sai Bottom once said, Stars can't shine without darkness. This quote resonates with me because I believe that without bad things happening in our lives, we wouldn't realize what the good ones are. It's only when we go through dark days that we realize what we're truly capable of. Same goes with our emotion. In order to appreciate love, we must feel and love sometimes. And in order to feel happiness, we must feel sadness as well. Half a day, my name is Hannah Mejia Nerzan. I am the daughter of Vincent and Mary Jean Nerzan. I am 16 years old and currently in the 10th grade, and I am part of the 4-H club. In my spare time, I enjoy watching, reading, listening to music, and spending time with my loved ones and pets. My future aspiration is to become a veterinarian. J.K. Rowling's once said that what is life without a risk? Half a day, my name is Hannah Sage Ogo. I'm the daughter of Marilyn and Arvin C. Ogo. I'm 15 years old and currently in the 10th grade. I'm a member of the 4-H Rota Team Leaders Club and the RHI Chamorro Bug Varsity Team. In my spare time, I enjoy dancing, singing, playing the guitar, practicing cosmetology, and painting. My future aspiration is to attend college in the U.S. or enlist in the U.S. Air Force. Nelson Mandela once said, Courage is not the absence of fear, but triumph over it. Half a day, my name is Glenda Sofia Valdesco, and I am the daughter of Odessa Camacho. I am 14 years old and currently a 10th grader. I am a member of the Asian Invasion Club. In my spare time, I enjoy drawing, reading, and listening to music. My future aspiration is to graduate high school and enter a good college so I may be able to help my family. Helen Keller once said that your success and happiness lie in you. Half a day, my name is Jermaine Chloe Allen and I'm the daughter of Marnie and Jennifer Yano. I'm 15 years old and I'm currently in the 10th grade. I'm a member of the Youth Advisory Panel, the Student Council, and 4-H. In my spare time, I enjoy swimming and drawing. My future aspiration is to become a pilot and to travel around the world. Christopher Meeks once said, Once you choose hope, anything is possible. Half a day, my name is Beyonce Hope Meskin Hawkook. I am the daughter of Lauren Meskin and Javon Hawkook. I am 17 years old and currently in the 11th grade. I am a member of the Archive Student Council and I enjoy dancing, playing games, and drawing. My future aspiration is to attend college and pursue the degree in primary education and English and become a teacher. Walt Disney once said, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Half a day, my name is Giselle Isa Flaum Mangonia. I am the daughter of Rona Flaua and Gaylord Mangonia. I am 15 years old and currently in the 10th grade. In my spare time, I enjoy singing and drawing. My future aspiration is to go to college and obtain a degree. Tim Burling once said, One day you'd leave this world behind, so live a life that you'd remember. Half a day. My name is Jed Santa Teresa. I am the son of Jeanette Riman and Edwin Santa Teresa. I am 16 years old and currently in the 11th grade. I am a member of the Asian Invasion Club and its subsidiary, the Filipino Club. In my free time, I like to go onto the internet and learn various skills from pottery, painting, cooking, and everything in between, as well as uh, coding and 3D modeling in my free time. My future aspiration is to become an engineer. This could be electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, or even civil engineer. Ms. Denise Tanya King, our RHI principal, will now give the welcoming remarks. It is an honor to provide the welcoming remarks for the Dr. Rita Hokug Enos Senior High School National Honor Society. Not only is this the most prestigious student organization, but this is the centennial year. The NHS was founded in 1912, the same year that Albert Einstein was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics. As the 100th year anniversary, we are honoring an incredible group of students in a revolutionary manner where families near and far are able to witness this auspicious occasion. Tonight, we are welcoming nine official members and three honorary members. 
We extend our congratulations to the parents and families of these remarkable young people. Your unconditional love, guidance and support, as well as encouragement throughout the years, is a big reason why your sons and daughters are here tonight. Your efforts have definitely paid off. We would also like to extend our appreciation to the NHS advisors, Ms. Sabrina Calvo and Ms. Jaya Guion, to the RHI staff, the NHS Faculty Council, the staff for their contributions and unwavering support and dedication to our students. I would like to thank the current members for their continuous commitment despite so many unprecedented setbacks. For the 12 inductees that are being honored tonight, you have demonstrated excellence in scholarship, character, service, and leadership. You excel in your academics, but this is only a part of the reason why you are here tonight. You have an inner desire that compels you to give, to give your time, your knowledge, your energy to those who need the help the most. You are selfless leaders who give service to others without worrying about what you're going to get in return. In closing, I would like to provide a quote by one of my greatest inspirational people, Mahatma Gandhi. The best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in service to others. Thank you and have a wonderful evening. Our Board of Education, Vice Chairman, retired Sergeant Major Herman Atalik will now give his special congratulatory remarks for inductees. Good afternoon, everyone, and half a day. I am truly honored to be present at this most prestigious event to congratulate the teachers for nurturing and guiding the students, the parents for their unconditional support, and especially to those amazing students who not only excel in their academics, but possesses outstanding leadership, character, and service, both in the school and in the community. It takes a truly unique student to possess these four tenets, which are the pillars of the National Honor Society in my many years as a JROTC instructor, I have observed hundreds of students, many who were part of the program. They were the finest group of students who demonstrated the discipline, positive attitude, maturity, and the inner desire to excel. This is the recipe to succeed in the world. Once again, congratulations to all the inductees this is an unprecedented celebration, but that does not diminish the importance of the event. Like this event, you are truly unique. I wish all of you a successful journey. Hua. A.D. Williams once said, Imagine what seven billion humans could accomplish if we loved and respected one another. Just imagine. Imagine if there was no greed. Imagine if there was no comparison. If everyone was running their own race, but cheering for all others at the same time. Maybe we'll never see that in our lifetime. But what we all can do is start with ourselves. Start with yourself. Choose to lift others up. Choose to set the example, the example of kindness and integrity, the example of compassion and understanding. There's a quote that says, no matter how educated, talented, rich, or cool you believe you are, how you treat people ultimately tells all. Integrity is everything. It really is. Who you are is far more important than what you have, and it will always be. Who you are is measured by how you make others feel. Be kind to each other. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. Choose to be the change you wish to see in the world. Decide you will not wait for someone else. You will set the example. Be kind. 
because you never know how much that person is suffering inside. You never know the difference your words can make, the difference your presence can make, the difference you can make to one human life. Be the reason someone believes in the goodness of humanity. Be the reason someone else decides to make a difference in others. Be the influence you want to see more of. Always do what is right. Not what is easy in the moment. Kindness spreads like a virus. When you do good to another, that person does better to those they come in contact with. You really can make a big difference in the world today and every other day. And Frank said, in the long run, the sharpest weapon of all is a kind and gentle spirit. No one has ever made themselves great by showing how small another is. Be kind and always build others up to the best of your ability. Treat everyone with the same level of kindness that you would like for yourself. Not because everyone is nice, but because you are. Because karma makes no mistakes. Because it is right. Because you have integrity. Because you want this world to be better when you leave than when you arrive. It is a tradition during every NHS induction to light candles to signify the pillars that lay the foundation for this prestigious organization. These pillars are leadership, scholarship, service, and character. O'Connor Depalog will now recite the organization's pillar, character. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality, our goodness. It is that without which no one can respect oneself, nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and, once developed, grows steadily within. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant thought and action, the daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others, to be rather than to seem. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. Bea Bermeo will recite the organization's pillar, Scholarship. Scholarship denotes a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours in reading and study, knowing the lasting benefits of a cultivated mind. We should continue to learn even when formal education has ended, for human education ends only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element in life, which leads to the highest success, and it can be acquired in only one way, through diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the lamp by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understand the present, and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the charge to continually expand their world through the opportunities inherent in scholarship. Mary Ruth Lauren will now recite the organization's pillar, Leadership. Leadership should exert a wholesome influence on the school. In taking initiative in the classroom and in school activities, the real leader strives to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resources may exist in the school, community, or nation, they are effectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, thus, to lead is a meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. Dana Fernandez will recite the organization's pillar, Service. My office is service. Service can be established in the routine of the day's work where many opportunities arise to help others, both at school and in the community. A willingness to work for the benefit of those in need, without monetary compensation or public recognition is a quality we seek in our membership and promote for the entire student body. We are committed to volunteering our time and talents to the creation of a better tomorrow. 
Our principal, Ms. Denise Towner King, will induct our new members. Stand and raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. Kaylin Amber Ivo Goa as Camacho. Hannah Nerzin. Hannah Ogo. Jed Santa Theresa. Linda Sophia Modesco. Jermaine Chloe Batasar Yalem. Being aware of the honor. Being aware of the honor. Which is being bestowed upon me. Being bestowed upon me. By my introduction to the membership. By my induction to the membership. In the National Honor Society. I hereby pledge loyalty to this organization. I hereby pledge loyalty to this organization. It shall be my earnest purpose. It shall be my earnest purpose. To give unsparingly of my time and energy. To give unsparingly of my time and energy. Towards the promotion of all school activities. Towards the promotion of all school activities. I will strive to be at all times a model student. I will strive to be at all times a model student. And never knowingly bring reproach upon my school, my community, my island, and myself. And will never knowingly bring reproach upon my school, my community, and myself. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of this society to which I have been selected. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of this society to which I have been selected. Striving in every way by word and deed. Striving in every way by word and deed to make its ideals the ideals of my school and my life. You may now Put down your hand, you are officially members of the prestigious NHS Society. Congratulations. Ms. Angelique Guillen will now give the closing remarks. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us as viewers from home in celebrating our National Honor Society 10th Annual Induction Ceremony. It is unfortunate to not have this ceremony conducted face to face. However, we pulled through in arranging the special video for this momentous event. I'd like to take this opportunity to recognize the NHS members in doing a tremendous job with their flexibility to make this video happen. Despite the challenges thrown at them this school year, uh, these students have went beyond, above and beyond expectations during this pandemic, thus allowing them the opportunity to be a part of this uh, prestigious organization. Once again, congratulations to the new inductees for making it to the National Honor Society. Have a wonderful rest of the day. This concludes our induction ceremony. On behalf of the National Honor Society members and advisors, we would like to once again thank all our viewers. We sincerely appreciate your time in witnessing this special event. Thank you.